What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Canelo Alvarez, Saul Canelo Alvarez puts his WBA, WBC super middleweight titles on the line versus number one ranked and mandatory contender in the WBC, Avni Yerdeman. This fight's going to take place in Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Dolphins. It's going to be a who's who's list of fighters that are going to be in attendance for this matchup tonight. Errol Spence Jr. will be at this fight. Jamal Charlo will be there. Javante Tank Davis will be there. Billy Joe Saunders is supposed to be there. A whole lot of fighters will be in attendance to uh, witness this matchup. You know, anytime you get a chance to go down to Miami, Florida to watch a fight, and then after the fight you can uh, hit... I think it's called, what, Rodeo Drive? Or maybe I might be getting it mixed up with California, Los Angeles, California. But whatever, they got a, a, a street over there that where everybody goes. They have a lot of uh, action over there, to say the least. Got a lot of spots, bars and uh, clubs and different uh, entertainment places going down over there in Miami, Florida. So a lot of fighters uh, taking, that, uh, taking that and going to watch Canelo Alvarez fight. And then after that fight, you know, they're going to be hitting that uh, strip there in Miami, Florida. As far as this matchup go, I say this. Abner Yuderman, he's going to put up a be better fight than um, Callum Smith. I'll say that. He's going to put up a much better effort than Callum Smith. That was absolutely ridiculous, the way Callum Smith fought Canelo in his last fight. So you're going to see more effort, you're going to see more heart, and you're going to see more guts. So I'm going to give him that. But the skills set is going to be what separates these two fighters. Canelo Alvarez just has faster hands. He has uh, really no weakness as far as offensively goes. He has a beautiful right hand. He has a beautiful left hook. He's got a good jab. He does a good job of disguising his head shots and his body shots. He does a good job of getting the opponent thinking that he's going to go to the body and he goes up top with an overhand right. That's how he was able to uh, knock out uh, Amir Khan. He was able to put him to sleep without the night quill with that overhand right. He, and he'll do it. Vice versa, the uh, next time he'll fake, he'll fake like he's going up top with a uh, with a left hook, and he'll come over the top with a left hook to the uh, to the head. So what he what he tries to do is he tries to get you to bring your guard down where he can go up top and hit you with a head shot. Uh, he'll try to disguise his shot to bring you bring make you bring the high guard up, and he'll hit you with a hard body shot. And if he lands on the liver, you're gonna go down, and you're not gonna get back up. That's what Ryan Garcia has basically learned from uh, Sahu Alvarez, a.k.a. Canelo, while training under the well-renowned uh, trainer, Eddie Reynoso. He was able to deliver that same type of shot that Canelo has delivered in so many times in his career when he was able to make uh, Luke Campbell believe that he was going to the body. My bad, he's make, make Luke Campbell believe he was coming up top with a head shot. Luke Campbell brings the high guard up, and he hits him with a vicious left hook to the body. And that finished that uh, fight off as uh, Luke Campbell was unable to beat the 10 count as he was on his knees, on the canvas, screaming in pain, and uh, didn't have the capacity to continue after that vicious, vicious liver shot. So that's what uh, Canelo Alvarez has done. Now, when you watch Avenue, you're the man. He's uh, very slow, slow as molasses. You know, when you look at a lot of his earlier fights, when he fought uh, Anthony Durrell, which was his first step up in competition fighting a guy that's, in my opinion, a B-level fighter in Anthony Durrell, he seemed like he, he did pick up his speed a little bit, but still was way too slow as uh, Anthony Durrell was able to pretty much beat him at beat him to the punch all night long. And, uh, Anthony, and uh, basically the cut, I think that Anthony Durrell uh, sustained and that he did fade a little bit in the second half of that fight and uh, kind of let Anthony Uniman Outwork him in a lot of rounds and made that fight very, very close. But uh, the bottom line is his uh, lack of uh, speed, to say the least, was his downfall in the matchup with Anthony Durrell. Now, I've been watching some sparring videos of Avni Yurdeman. He's uh, working with Joel Diaz, who's one of the top trainers in boxing. It seems to me they've been trying to work on his speed and work on him getting his punches off at a faster pace. And it's in, at least in sparring, it seems like he uh, has picked up his speed compared to his uh, previous fights. But that sparring, that's, you know, that's easy to, you know, when you're watching a video, him just throwing punches, throwing punches, it looks fast. But when you're in the ring and you're comparing his punches 
of uh, his speed of his punches to the uh, speeds of the punches coming from Canelo Alvarez is like night and day, and I think that's going to be the problem. But I kind of like what they've been doing with him. He's been working with him with, with a lot of head movement, and that's Canelo Alvarez's uh, bread and butter. He, he he has slow feet, but he makes up with makes up make, makes up for it with great head and body movement. He's able to kind of do this and do this, do this, do this, and move his body. That makes up for his uh, lack of uh, foot speed. And that's what Avenue Uteman was working on with Joe Diaz and uh, Joe Diaz's uh, assistant trainer. He was working on head movement, moving, movement, rolling to the left. And he's working on a lot of head movement, anticipating a lot of jabs and a lot of uh, sh straight right hands and uh, left hooks coming from Canelo Alvarez. He's working on his head movement. Will that translate tonight? We'll, we'll, we'll find out uh, when the fight goes down. But as far as uh, based on what he's done in his previous fight and even his uh, last fight with Anthony Durrell, he just doesn't have the hand speed. He just doesn't have the skill set to beat a Canelo Alvarez. But he does have heart. He does have guts. And I think this will be a better fight than Callum Smith. But that's not saying much. Even though I think uh, the fight will end by eighth round knockout with Canelo Alvarez. Knocks out Abner Yuneman. And uh, Callum Smith, he actually went, made it to the distance against uh, Canelo Alvarez, but it was just a non-competitive fight, and it was basically a, a one-sided uh, destruction on the part of Canelo Alvarez. I think uh, Abner Uterman was going to let his hands go, and uh, I think he's going to try real hard, and he might land a couple of shots here and there to make the fight a little bit more inter interesting than, than we think. But I think at the end of the day, uh, Canelo Alvarez just has so many weapons on the offensive end. The guy just has no weakness. He's a two-handed fighter. Great right hand, great left hook, great jab to the body, great jab up tight. Uh, you know, he knows how to disguise his punches, making you think he's going to the body. Like I said earlier, and he hits you with a shot up top. Vice versa, make you think he's going going up top and then hits you with a vicious body shot. He does a very good job of disguising his punches, and I think that's going to be the difference in this fight, man. Just the skill set and just the overall versatility of uh, Canelo Alvarez's offensive game and just the speed of his punches being much faster and having a Uniman, and I think he stops him in the eighth round. Let me know your thoughts on this particular matchup. Pretty much everybody I will soon pick Canelo Alvarez, but that's that's the easy part. But make a prediction on what round you think the fight ends, or do you think the fight goes to a decision? Let me know your thoughts, or maybe somebody want to uh, pick pick you know pick uh, the upset. I lied, Buster Douglas upset Mike Tyson when he was what a forty to one underdog. I don't know what the odds are. I don't think they're quite that big, but they got to be at least twenty five to one in favor of Canelo Alvarez. If you think you're the man's going to pick the upset, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And hit the uh, like button if you like the content of this video. And subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.